The back of the boat shouldn't leak because the glue blocks leaks, but the stapled front is likely to leak. See how there's a little crack that you can see through? It's a whole lot easier to stop the leak now than when the engine is in because the engine blocks you from getting to it. See if you can put the engine in the boat. If there's too much hot glue on the bendy part of the straw, you'll have to make the rectangular hole a little bigger with a finger or something. Don't actually start gluing in the engine with the hot glue until you understand from these directions what position the engine will be in when the glue cools. I speak from experience that most of the hard to fix leaks in the bottom of the boat are here because once the glue hardens the straws prevent you from getting to it to fix it. So put a big blob of low temp hot glue behind the straws. I guess I put too much on here but I can scrape off the extra. I prefer not to put the straws completely flat against the bottom of the boat. It seems a little easier to prime that way. So I put a pencil or pen under to space them. Make sure the straws go down the middle of the boat, not off to one side. Seal with glue around the rest of where the straws go in. Try to make it fairly thin and smooth so your boat cuts through the water. Did you save the cardboard wedge that you set the angle of the engine with? Use it to set the angle again on the inside of the boat. Or just hold it so the end of the engine is two and a half inches or 63 millimeters from the bottom of the boat. Squeezing hot glue on the inside might be enough to soften the glue on the bendy part. This is a good place to have lots of hot glue because the weight at the bottom of the boat makes the boat more stable. If hot glue doesn't heat the bend enough to adjust the angle, you can pour some hot water in the front of the boat to soften the hot glue. The water has to be really hot and it takes about a minute. Get the angle, then putting cold water quickly hardens the glue again. If there's a leak in the bottom, it's easy to find if you push the boat down a little into the water. Here you can see it leaking from the front. Here it's leaking from both the front and where the straws go through the bottom. Often it helps to glue a couple of coins to the bottom of the boat. Weight at the bottom stabilizes the boat. If the boat's leaning one way or another, you can locate the coin accordingly and counterbalance the tilt. Don't forget you still have to prime the engine every time before using it. Make a hook in the candle holder and hook it to the stern of the boat so the candle doesn't slide around. You don't have to make the deck, but it looks nice, especially if you paint it.